What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be doing a uh, brake repair or brake replace on my Silverado. Now this is easy to do, I'm just doing it for people that don't know how to do it or want to do it on their own. Super simple, you don't have to bleed the brakes, you do have to compress the pistons inside the caliber, but it's, that's the only thing. The tools you will need are, of course I done did the other side, but the video was crappy. The tools you're gonna need are, of course, your, I'll lay them out right here, your new brakes, uh, impact wrench, or a, uh, and a three quarter impact socket, or a, a half inch, anything half inch. You're gonna need a uh, three eighths ratchet, or half inch ratchet, or something smaller with a three quarter inch smaller bit. For the bottom bolt on the caliber which i'll show you that you're gonna need a big c-clamp or something to compress with uh something to like compress with and then all uh, the bolt i'll show you what this is used for too uh you're gonna need one of, the, one of these if you have a a hubcap like mine does with uh allen heads um and uh maybe a breaker bar Maybe if you, unless you can get it in there. But before, uh, without further ado, let's get right into it. Uh, I'm gonna pitch you somewhere you can see though, until I have something to show you. So, hope you can see that pretty good. So, let's get right into it. Now, your hub cap, your screws onto the side so you don't lose them. Move you. We're well, gonna need your impact right here. Get your impact. You don't have to do a pattern on this, just, just hey, look, no, put them in your hub cap so you don't lose them. Pop your wheel off, roll it over there, and just, just lay it down. Well, that's not in your way. This is this is where the wrench well, the wrench, the breaker bar, well, not really the wrench, but the breaker bar, and these come into play. Let me get you up here so you can take a look. Now, you want to take this bolt right here off. This one allows you to raise this whole this whole caliber over up and lay it on the rotor. So let's go ahead and do that. That's probably why you need a breaker bar, too. She's pretty... Mine was pretty tight. I'm using pipe because I don't have a uh, 3 8 breaker bar, so I'm using pipe. You want to use jack stands too, keep it. Keep her nice and sturdy. Like that, where well, you will not lose it. You can need that to put the caliber back on. Yeah. Drift your caliber on that, and uh, take your brakes out. Uh, this side wasn't as bad as my other side is, but I'm just gonna replace them. It's new or old? No, you can tell the difference if you can see them. A lot more pad on the new. <laughs> say hi, everybody. <laughs> okay, before we go any further, I want to address something. I just now learned this. Yeah, call me stupid, whatever. Notice two brake pads. The one, the two brake pads. One's curved and one's got a lip. The one that has the lip goes on the back side. Yeah, I know that now. Duh, stupid. Yeah, let me hear it, come on. Yeah, this is the fun part. Is with this, this comes in play. You gotta depress these two to get them over the brake pads. Okay, so do that. If you have to use your wrench, 
your yeah your wrench to get more leverage. Where did I put my? No, where to put it? Not right over here. The guy who actually changed my brakes last time, he put a lot of fluid in there. Way more than it needed to be, so. Now, if it, like I said, if you're thinking your, your brake fluid reservoir is too full, it'll leak as you're depressing the brakes. But, um, yeah, that's it. Just put the tire back on, do a star pattern on the lug nuts. And you're set to go. Of course, drive and make sure everything's good, but that's about it. I will catch you in the next video. If like, I'll catch you in the next video. If you like this one, like it, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Peace.